I love grading papers. Huh? What? Why? Why is there a frog here? It's a cool critter, right? There's lots of interesting things about poison frogs. They can be a variety of colors, exhibit complex behaviors, and have lots of amazing evolutionary features. But what's it doing here? And what are you doing here? I'm always here. Whoa! Are these all frogs? Yeah. And they're really useful for studying lots of different scientific questions. Check these guys out. I study poison frog toxins and how they impact the immune system and the microbiome. I study poison frog diet in order to understand how they acquire chemical defenses. I study how the brain governs monogamy in poison frogs. I study differences in species spatial navigation in poison frog tadpoles. I study how toxins influence this brain development and frog's behavior. I track where poison frogs go and I study how they find their way around. I work on what changes take place in the brain to make poison frogs turn into such good parents. That's cool, but how are frogs helpful to me? You can use poison frogs as a model in your classroom for lots of different biology lessons. Whoa! Including physiology, chemical ecology, parental behavior, and more. And they're a blast for your students to watch and take care of. Taking care of frogs seems like a lot of work. It's actually pretty easy. Check this out. Poison frogs are easy to care for and fascinating classroom pets. We'll help you get started by providing a terrarium and a an how-to guide on how to get it all set up so that your frogs will feel right at home. Once your frogs arrive, they'll require some care, including regular misting and feeding approximately three times a week. Because poison frogs get their toxins from their diet, they're totally non-toxic in the lab where you'll learn how to feed them Drosophila fruit flies. But don't worry, these flies don't have wings, so they won't fly away. Okay, what sort of observations can my students make? Lots! Including parental care, tadpole development, feeding behavior, coloration, and skin microbes. So now you're ready to use frogs in your classroom. Along the way, you'll have access to scientists who can help you with any questions or problems you might encounter, as well as your local herpetology community. Welcome to the Frogger School Program.